Today we're going to be talking about how to find the sum of a Maclaurin series by relating it to a very common Maclaurin series with a known sum. In this particular video, we're going to be doing two different problems. The first one here is the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of the quantity negative 1 raised to the n times x to the 4n divided by n factorial. Now, to go alongside this, we have the fact that the infinite sum from n equals 0 to infinity of the series x to the n divided by n factorial, that that sum is equal to e to the x. So we can see that our series is in a similar form to this one, but not exactly the same. If we can get it into a matching format, then we can hopefully use the fact that the sum of this series is e to the x to find the sum of our series. So notice that in this well-known series we have n factorial in the denominator. We already have n factorial in the denominator of our series. In the numerator though we have in the well-known series we just have x to the n. In ours we have x to the 4n so we can actually transform our series. We'll say the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n. We'll transform this x to the 4n into x to the fourth raised to the n power, all divided by n factorial. Now this brings the n to the outside, and we can see that our x to the fourth here is similar to just this x value here. We can separate these because when we multiply these back together, when we raise x to the fourth to the n, we multiply these exponents together. That's just an algebraic operation with exponents. We would get x to the 4n. So that's why we can separate them. Now though, we need to deal with this negative one to the n out in front because our well-known series doesn't have that anywhere in here. So what we can do is we can combine the negative one and the x to the fourth because these are both raised to the power of n and since they're raised to the same power, we can multiply them together. So what we'll actually get here is n equals zero to infinity of negative one times x to the fourth is negative x to the fourth all raised to the n power divided by n factorial. And now you can see that if we compare our series to the well-known series, that we have the exact same format, except that in the well-known series, we have this value here for x, and in ours, that value is replaced by negative x to the fourth instead of just x. Everything else is identical. What this allows us to do is replace x in the sum with our negative x to the fourth. So we know that the sum of this series now is e to the negative x to the fourth. So we just replaced this x with our x, which was negative x to the fourth. And this is the sum of the Maclaurin series we were given. So you can see how we compared it to this well-known series to find the sum. Now let's do another example. We have here the sum from n equals zero to infinity of the quantity negative one raised to the n times pi to the two n plus one divided by four to the two n plus one times the quantity two n plus one factorial. I've also written here the well-known sum of sine of x, which breaks down into this Maclaurin series here. So if we can get our series into the same format as this one, hopefully we can use the fact that the sum of this series is sine of x to find the sum of our series. And the reason that we are gonna use this one is because we can see that we already have this 2n plus one factorial. We already have negative one to the n in our series. So things are similar. The only thing that's different is that in this well-known series, we have x to the 2n plus 1. In ours, we have pi to the 2n plus 1, and we have this additional 4 to the 2n plus 1. So we can actually separate those, pull them out into their own fraction, and our series transforms into the series from n equals 0 to infinity of this negative 1 to the n here times 1 over the quantity 2n plus 1 factorial, we're going to pull the two things I underlined into their own fraction and we'll get pi to the 2n plus 1 over 4 to the 2n plus 1. Since these are both raised to the same exponent 2n plus 1, we can pull that out and actually get here pi over 4 all raised to the 2n plus 1. What that allows us to do now is put this back into the numerator and what you'll see we get here is the sum from n equals zero to infinity 
negative 1 to the n. We'll put this pi over 4 to the 2n plus 1 back in the numerator, and we'll get pi over 4 all raised to the 2n plus 1, and our denominator is just what we had before, 2n plus 1 factorial. Now, as you can see, if we compare this to our well-known series, we have the negative 1 to the n, and we have that in our series. We have the 2n plus 1 factorial in the denominator, and we have now exactly the same numerator, except that where they had x here, we have pi over 4. So we just want to replace x in the sum with pi over 4. So the sum of our series is going to be equal to, instead of sine of x right here, we'll replace it with rx and get sine of pi over 4. Now we could leave it like this, but we know that sine of pi over 4 is equal to root 2 over 2. We can see that by looking at a unit circle. So we can give our final answer as root 2 over 2, and that's the sum of this original series that we were given. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.